right, you're very welcome back to the show. Ashling Larkin is spoiling our dinner with some oh. chocolate mousse and a crunchy homemade honeycomb. Where are we oh, getting started? Where are we starting? Oh, we've got three separate things to do tonight. So we've got a chocolate mousse to make, basic, mm -hmm. classic chocolate mousse. Then we're going to show you a ganache, and then we're going to do the honeycomb as well, right? Okay. So the chocolate mousse is really, really easy. I have this called a ban marie. So I have my bowl set over a little bit of warm water, melting it down. I've been minding it here. I am using milk chocolate for this, okay? So like a dairy milk or a regular yeah, fire chocolate? Yeah, I've okay. literally gone really old school uh -huh. and used that. I would recommend kind of 50, 60% cocoa was really, really nice. You go 70, 80, you're going a little bit bitter. So the whole family might not enjoy that, but mm -hmm. it is, it's more decadent, it's more rich. Okay. Um, so I have melted my 300 grams of chocolate. I'm gonna just lift that off the heat and into that I am going to put my eggs. So I've separated my eggs, right? So I've got the egg yolks, so five egg yolks, separated those, pop those in. So this is gonna give you that lovely richness, okay? okay. So you get that real, depth of kind of flavor and silkiness. So that's really, really nice. I'm gonna pop in a little bit of butter as well. I just think it gives it another little bit of richness and a little bit of silkiness. Um, and then I have the egg white. So you can see it's kind of going thick. It's not a problem that the, um, the chocolate is warm. It's no, if it was too warm, It'll like it would the scramble the eggs okay. a little bit, yeah, but it's cooled down, so it's okay. So I'm gonna pop in 30 grams of butter, real butter for this part, okay? Don't try and um, use the spreadable stuff. Do use the real stuff. So you can see it's getting quite thick. Uh -huh. It doesn't need to be -like. unsalted or anything like that, I assume. Just no, the little bit of salt is actually fine. You could add a little bit of salt into the recipe, and I didn't because it's in the butter, mm. so it's fine. Little drop of vanilla, if you fancied it, doesn't have to go in, not essential. This is all but chocolate so far, chocolate and eggs, yeah? Oh, yeah. Okay. Chocolate, eggs and butter, and then the egg whites. Now, I'm going to tell you something very cool. If you didn't want to use eggs, you can use something which is very surprising, which is chickpea water. Ah, uh, here. Oh, uh, you've ruined it. Lost I know, I know, I know, right? I know, but you can... Chickpea water? Yes. You know, it's like... <laughs> Is this like the water that they the, the tin that you drain off? Could, yeah. Oh, so what? you drain off the water from the chickpeas, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And you whip it up, and it whips just like this. It whips up like egg it's whites. Egg white, like yes. We're not going yeah. to know now. She's given us egg whites. <laughs> <laughs> no, I promise. I absolutely promise. I have given you egg whites. Okay. Aquafaba, it's called. Um, so if you were trying to do a vegan dessert, yeah, of course. And you didn't want to use your eggs, um, you wouldn't obviously be putting in the butter, and you'd be using vegan chocolate. You wouldn't be using the egg yolks. Um, but you can use a little bit of a sugar syrup, and you can use your whip. So three tablespoons of your um, chickpea drained water equates to one egg white. So if you did have anybody that you had to cater for, you can do it that way. So or if you had egg allergies. Of chickpeas <laughs> to make your, to make you know what? One tin of chickpeas. Like, what do you do with all these, these empty tins of chickpeas? Like Throw out the chickpeas. Well, we're talking about sustainability a lot. Yeah. Right. So yeah. actually, it is like it is very sustainable as well. Um, nice chickpea curry, actually. Yeah. And yeah, then make a dessert. Yeah. Make a chocolate dessert. And it's again, it's like super quick and easy. This is it for the mousse, right? All okay. I'm doing is folding it. So why did I whip the egg whites? You get air in. Uh -huh. So that air keeps your mousse bubbly and light and fluffy the whole way through, okay? And that's exactly what you want. So you just combine it all together and then it sets, so it doesn't bake, obviously, it sets. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna make sure that's all mixed through and pour it into your glasses. You can serve this in bowls, you can serve it in glasses. I would cover it with a little bit of cling film and pop it in the fridge and chill it eight hours overnight. All right, okay. Um, what did you or in a cold room. I just tried some of this. That's just the eggs, though. That's you don't trust me. not the chickpea. That's not the chickpea. Oh, that's very disappointing. I was like, doesn't it? It's like chickpeas to me. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not, I promise. So oh, divide it out. Yeah, it's, it's, a really it's a little living. bit thin, So, but once it sets in the it fridge sets. then. Yeah. yeah, and that's what the egg whites do. They kind of hold that lovely. So the structure is there in the protein in the egg white, and that's what holds it all bowl? together. It's COVID. Of course you can't you can lick the bowl, can you? Well, no. you can finish the bowl. You can, can finish I? the bowl. How about that? I'll give that to you. Yum. And I have that one as a spare. Now, would that not make the, that you can't do that? That make you I'm sick joking. Raw eggs. Jeez, I'm joking. My God. <laughs> well, no, there is raw okay. eggs, so that is something to be to be mindful of as well when you're doing it right. Okay. I'm and gonna you're start. Leave it overnight, then I guess in the fridge. Yeah? Yes, cover it. Okay. Leave it overnight, and that's it. So for our honeycomb. Sorry, stupid question, right? If it's raw eggs, if you were pregnant or breastfeeding or anything, keep, keep away. Keep away. Okay. Yeah. There yeah. You go. Just, Just be on the safe, safe side. Yeah. yeah. Yep, yeah, 100%. Um, and like I said, you can do a mousse instead. You can obviously use your chickpea aquafaba water, it's or so you can have this chickpea water. Home, <laughs> the other thing you can do is um, cream, whipped cream and a little bit of stock, so sugar syrup and water, and you can do that, and that makes a lovely mousse. It's not as light as the egg whites, but it's a lovely chocolate okay, mousse. An alternative. You've dumped a load of sugar and, what's this, treacle maple syrup? Golden syrup. Golden, Golden syrup. Golden right. syrup, yeah. So this is honeycomb. So this is your crunchy bar. 
Yum. essentially that we're making the homemade oh, version right, of okay. okay you've got to work quickly for this so you have to have your tray uh -huh. ready and lined your parchment paper 150 grams of caster sugar you've got about 50 grams of golden syrup years ago or traditionally you would use something like um liquid glucose it was very hard to get here you couldn't get it in supermarkets but now you can actually get it in supermarkets so you can use either liquid glucose or golden syrup if you use liquid glucose it keeps it a paler color okay okay so but we traditionally the taste uh, it's yeah, it's slightly less. It has a milder, oh, a milder okay. flavour. So the the golden syrup gives it that deeper depth of kind of that crunchy. You know, the, a crunchy bar. Is it dangerous flavor? or is it caramel that's dangerous? It's one of the most oh, dangerous. Oh, it's dangerous. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's dangerous about it? Um, it melts, so its melting point is hotter. So what you want to do is you want to bring this to about 150 degrees Celsius. Uh -huh. Now, if you have something like a meat thermometer or a sugar thermometer, you test it. Otherwise, you just have to go kind of old school and keep an eye on it and let it bubble, bubble, bubble. That's 150. I, I mean, I, I, I didn't, uh, I, I didn't pass my leave insert to science. You don't, but, have, uh, you don't have enough lot, insurance for this. Boiling water. It, it, is, it sticks to your skin, yeah. All right, very good. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm going to leave that just leave bubble to you, for a yeah. sec, right? Okay. And I'm going to show you ganache. Really simple ganache. Ganache. The basic rule for a ganache, and I've used dark chocolate in uh -huh. here and milk chocolate, is half the amount of cream to chocolate. Okay. So if I have 300 grams of chocolate, I have 150 grams of cream, and I've got about 25 grams of butter. So I'm just going to put in a little bit of butter. The butter gives it a lovely gloss. Okay. And that is going to be our ganache. So this can be used for the top of cheesecakes, top of chocolate biscuit cake. So mm. anything that you need, like a chocolate cake, a filling, an icing, it's really, really nice. That's it. Just melt your chocolate, stir in your cream, stir in your butter. And that's your ganache done. So when your mousse is ready, your ganache goes on top, which I'm going to do now. And we're going to build this dessert up oh, layer wow. by layer. It's so easy. Like, it genuinely, mm. there's nothing complicated about anything I'm doing. Look at the shine. Can you yeah. see how glossy yeah, that is? Like, that is just, that's worth licking the spoon for, for sure. Yeah. So this piles on top here. So you spread your ganache out. How long have you let them set? Like, overnight? Or overnight. Oh, These are overnight, okay. yeah. I'm not going to lie to you, Karen. I did leave the house without them this morning, <gasps> and I had to go back. back? For them. Oh no! So yeah, that remember if you set your set longer, remember really if you set your right. chocolate mousse to make sure you bring it where you're going. Um, and these glasses are lovely as well. It's just a little bit of nice presentation. Beautiful. So that sets on top. Okay. Can I lick that bowl? You can definitely lick that bowl. Okay, Grant. See how this is bubbling? Yeah, very okay. dangerous. So this is where it gets dangerous. Be very careful. One teaspoon of baking soda, which yeah. is the same as bicarbonate of soda. So sprinkle that in. Tiny little pinch more. Then you get your whisk. Yeah, we've got a minute here. Yep. Yeah. So bubble, 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 bubble furiously. Be careful now, won't you? <laughs> Ray's terrified to be on the really? <laughs> I didn't know we were on It's, it's, it's like molten it. lava. It's really, really, right. really hot. Spread that out on a tray. That's already done then, is it? That's it, half an hour. All oh, right, you're not putting it in the oven or anything, no? No, it's it takes, cool. oh yeah, just cool sets, yeah. hardens. It takes half an hour. Top tip, get this in cold water, AS. AP to save yourself a oh, torture of washing up. Yeah. yeah, so it's really, really easy. This is what it looks like. Yeah. Take a piece <gasps> so you can grab your amazing. spoon. All right, okay. Crack it along and you get this amazing mm. big it's like a crunchy. bubbles. It's like a crunchy. It's now, right. this is hygroscopic, which means that it absorbs oh God, air. I was given a piece there. <laughs> she, didn't, she didn't give it to me. I'm going to give you a whole mousse. I'm going to give you a whole mousse. If you don't cover that with like in an airtight container, it absorbs the air and it goes soft and sticky and disgusting. So oh. you have to keep it in an airtight container. That's the only thing. And there you go, guys. There you have oh, your delicious in. chocolate mousses. That's gorgeous. We're out of time. I was going to do some questions for Connor. I know, my iPad's no not working. No. I'm sorry. Still, I get to eat the mousse. Oh, sorry. You eat your mousse and we'll get you for questions next week. Is that all right? I'm here. Grand. Okay, dog. That's all we've got time for, I'm afraid. Thank you to all of our guests for joining us this evening. Oh, uh, tomorrow we've got a full house. Marty Morrissey, uh, Moncon Mag Mangan, and the very musical Ham Sandwich Matt. I'm sorry for Mangan. <laughs> sorry, my God. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.